Gotta love that McDonald's Mulan McNugget Teriyaki Szechuan thing. It's just too bad I can only enjoy it in my dreams. And I don't care if I have to wait for nine more seasons of Rick and Morty or to get it in real life. I will wait however long it takes. All right, hey guys, Blood Moon Bobby here, and whoa, you're actually seeing me on video this time, and that is because I've decided to go back into video recording. Now, don't worry, you'll still see audio podcasts every Sunday on SoundCloud, which, by the way, thanks for following me. I'm surprised um, I managed to get some people to come by, so... Yeah, so, right now, I'm having it where I have my camera over here, and then... Down there is my microphone, so, and they're recording separately, so I'll be able to do both a um, video and a um, separate podcast for Sunday. So, yeah, so, <laughs> so get subscribed to my SoundCloud. The link is below in the description. So, this weekend, um, not planning to do too many videos only because I wanted to try and have a better work schedule balancing my schoolwork. With this YouTube channel this weekend, apart from the video you're watching right now, um, I'm actually going to be seeing um, f- um, tomorrow from the day I'm recording Blade Runner 2049 in IMAX with Steven and Gabby. So we're looking forward to it. I'm, I'm surprised Steven honestly is looking forward to it more than I am. But um, yeah, um, so we're going to be doing a review that pretty much I told him I wanted to do as soon as we get out of the theater. So I'll be doing that on my iPhone. Um, I hope the battery doesn't drain, so there's that. And then we're also planning to do a Star Wars trailer discussion, which I've seen the trailer. If you've seen my picture on it, like, go see my picture on Instagram. Um, it's me, my, it's my Blood Moon icon doing this. Only it does it a lot better than I can. And yeah, that should pretty much sum up that trailer. We'll talk about that when I get to making that video. But today, we're here to talk about fandoms, fanboys, tribalisms, corporate cheerleaders. Take your pick. So, (laughs) yeah, so, I don't know. Me, personally, I like to use the word fanboy because if I use the word fandom, I feel like I'm including the more um, rational-minded fans. You know, you could be a fan of something and not be a fan and boy. So, because by definition, a fan, it's basically somebody who's like, who likes, you know, some whether it be a sports team, cartoon, TV show, movie. Um, whereas a fanboy is, you know, I think you all know, but, you know, it's basically the kind of people super irrational, won't shut up about it. And if you don't like what they have to say, they consider you a piece of shit and they want to um, block your phone number and block you on Facebook. Which, um, yeah, that happened to me. All because of um, anime. (laughs) So, why am I bringing this up? Well, I'm pretty sure you all know by now, because I'm surprised people are still talking about this, about what happened with um, Rick and Morty. So, um... So, on Rick and Morty, Rick, you know, mentions some mentions. Um, he likes the McDonald's Szechuan sauce, and it was an actual sauce that McDonald's had when the Disney movie Mulan was um coming out. They used that sauce to, you know, as a way to promote that movie. And so, of course, you know, Rick and Morty fans were asking McDonald's, "Hey, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back," and of course they did, but they pulled a bait and switch, where. By the way, I should mention bait and switch. That's actually a legit marketing move. Like I've been taught that in my marketing class. I haven't been encouraged to do that, but it is a legit thing. So what McDonald's basically did is they sold the sauce in a very limited amount of locations. And reportedly some locations that were set to have it didn't even have the sauce. So of course this led to a lot of, you know, customers like coming into McDonald's like it's Black Friday. I've seen videos where a huge ton of uh, McDonald's customers go in for the sauce 
And I heard it just got crazy. I've seen, like, people are holding up the signs. People are shouting, we want the sauce. And I even heard there was somebody got stabbed, but that's been unconfirmed. So don't take that as Bible. So, okay. So after recording the video, I found out that the sauce has been selling for hundreds of dollars on eBay. Like, look at this. $600, $710, $830. Like, what the fuck? Then there's also this report of this one woman who traded the sauce in order to get a 2004 Volkswagen GTI. I have no words. Why do I bring this up? Because me personally, I like Rick and Morty, but I wasn't able to get into it. I like the two principal characters. I like the jokes. Um, I could understand where Rick is coming from, and just but um, yeah, it's definitely a show because I've heard it's got some really good twists, and Rick seems like a very interesting character. Um, I just didn't get into it at first because I'm not exactly a super super sci-fi fan. Like, yes, I like Star Wars and Blade Runner, but I'm not you know, super, super, like, obsessed into that kind of stuff. But with Rick and Morty, I'd give it a chance. It looks super fascinating. So I probably won't get all the references, though. So why am I talking about this? Because um, I have a very basic opinion in that, you know, you know, the one, like, you know, it's just, you know, a sauce. You know, like, yes, it's limited, but it's not like your house. So, you know, obviously I condemn that kind of a, a thing. I don't, like, support it at all. So why am I talking about fanboyism? Like, because I'm going to be speaking from the perspective of somebody who is trying to get over um, fanboyism. Um, I'm just double-checking my mic. Um, and yeah, it's recording. So the closest, um, as of now... I am to be... Well, actually, let me go back. Um, so, as a kid, I used to be a really big fanboy of things like um, Apple and um, Nintendo. Mainly because, you know, I loved playing Nintendo games as a kid. I still had, got my GameCube, my Wii. Three versions... Well, actually, no. Two versions of the original DS, DS, and DSi. And, you know... I just, you know, like the design of Apple products and I just enjoyed using them more. I learned, in fact, um, when I was in the third grade, I that's where I really got my, started to get into computers. I used my classes to Emac to make PowerPoints. And then when I got, and when I got to middle school, that was when I learned about iMovie. So I never actually owned a Mac, at least for a really long time. When I first, when I was born, my mom had her Mac from when she was you know, a receptionist, but, um, we quickly got an IBM PC, and then we went over to a compact PC, but that's not the point, so, yeah, but, and yeah, I used to be super defensive of that kind of thing, when I got into journalism, though, like, when I started going to college, I started to become a lot more objective, but, um, and yeah, it just made sense to me, I'll go into that a little more, um, later, but, um, in terms of fanboys, to date, I don't consider myself as big a fanboy of Apple and Nintendo anymore. Because nowadays, I can more easily talk about those two companies um, and even admit they're not exactly perfect. But the closest I am to still being a fanboy to something, and this is a big surprise to me, is the Disney XD show. As you could probably guess from the name of my channel, I'm Star vs. the Forces of Evil. So, in case you don't know, I mean, I've talked about it so many times on this channel, but I'll go ahead and tell you. Um, Star vs. the Forces of Evil, it's basically the story of you got the magical Princess Star Butterfly and her best friend Marco Diaz, and they go around fighting monsters and having occasionally dark episodes that borderline give me heart attacks. But, I'm kidding about that obviously but I honestly don't know why I'm so so into it now I'm not one of those people that goes on tumblr and looks at like tom star art um 
and says, fuck you, ship Starco, you know, I, but I'll admit, I can be really crazy with the show, I constantly post about the show on my personal Facebook, and I even like the show to a point where I'm even scared to figure out things, um, learn about things, and, um, yeah, I mean, what else is there? I mean, I write fan stories, you know, I've had many, in fact, I'm trying to write a few, but I just never found time to write them, and it's just, like, really crazy. I mean, I'm not here to say, you know, oh, I'm a Star Wars Super Wars Evil fanboy, I'm just telling you the extent of how much of a fan I am of this show. Now, um, why do I not want to be a fanboy of... And the reason I didn't want to be a fanboy is, you know, I picked up on objective journalism at first because it just made sense to me in terms of, yes, you should be fair. You should be, you know, reporting as truthfully as possible. Yes, as I've learned, there's really no way of being completely unbiased, but you still have to try. Like, you, you, like, you know, right now I could just say it. I like my... MacBook Pro, but there's quirks of Mac OS High Sierra. So there, I made a fairly unbiased statement. But, you know, you could extend that into, like, writing an article on, like, the quirks of Mac OS High Sierra and still have, you know, being... If you still like it, you know, you should still say you like it, but still wish your problems. But anyway, why do I not want, want to be a fanboy? And the reason being is because, so yes, like I said, I've learned to be more objective because it only makes sense. But also because I've, you know, been through people in my life who have really not been, who, who will just like jump, like want to just throw things the things they like down your throat. I've been, I've been for people who are like super political or even like super into like anime. Like I used to have a friend that was super into and he would constantly send me like messages of all these cosplayers. Please like them. Please like he also really hated Star Wars The Forces of Evil, by the way. And that's not why I stopped being friends with him. The problem was just like, you know, let me be, let me like what I like and this other person who's fairly close to me I'm not gonna get into who it is you know not just politics but also like you know in terms of movies I can't talk about movies with this guy like he still thinks I'm into like you know Disney movies mainly because I don't tell him the things I like nowadays but that's only because he kind of has that mindset like I feel in the case of this person he has to be right or else his confidence is just going to go down the shitter. Like, his self-esteem just... Like, he has to be right. Like, he's in that case of denial. And just, you know, like, the fact that I have trouble, like, you know, even just talking to them. I'm, in, I'm on such, you know... I'm walking on eggshells in these with these kind of people. You know, I don't want to be around them. If I have to talk to them, like, for an assignment or something, I will. But, you know, I wouldn't consider them my friend. Just, yeah, and I'm always worried. I mean, that's why it kind of goes back into how much I like Star Wars The Forces of Evil. I'm always worried. Am I too much of a fanboy? I have friends that tell me, no, you don't, and they're fairly level-minded people, but... At the same time, I'm a person with, you know, as some may call itchy feet, the kind of person who doesn't just like one thing. Well, the term itchy feet means more specific. You don't want to be in one place too long. And that's how I am, you know. And truthfully, I don't always want to, like, you know, write or talk about stuff. I have other interests. I, I like, for instance, I like researching cars, for instance. On some days, I'll admit, I like going window shopping on like the Lexus website, Lincoln, well not so much Lincoln, but you know, car websites like Toyota, Chrysler, Subaru, Kia, Hyundai, you know, well, because that's just it, I don't want to, I, I want to learn more things, I, you know, I want to learn about more kinds of people, and just, yeah, I really hate it when I just say, and yeah. But i um, kind of been going off on a tangent. 
But, yeah, it's just ridiculous. Like, I think that's the main problem with fanboyism, tribalism, whatever you're calling it. It's just that you feel like you just can't talk to these people, like, you know, in a legit manner. You feel like you can only... You're, you either have to talk about what they like, or if you do go out the barriers, it's almost like they treat you like dirt or that your opinion doesn't matter as much. So, going back to Rick and Morty, though, truthfully speaking, I like the show. I would try the Szechuan sauce, even though I'm pretty sure it's just McDonald's sweet and sour sauce with chili flakes. Eggs. But, you know, I'd try it. As a matter of fact, um, going back to the story, McDonald's did say they're coming out with more this winter. I hope they do. <laughs> I hope it's not just, let's add it to 20 more stores. You still have to travel a couple hours if you're really unfortunate. But, you know, I try the sauce, but, you know, I wouldn't stab some. And same thing with Star vs. the Forces of Evil. Like, you know, I heard the other day the creator, Darren FC, announced they're, they're gonna, that there's going to be Star t-shirts and hot topic they don't have shirts for guys though so you know but if they do announce shirts for guys and there's going to be a lot of people you know storming in the hot top to get them like don't stab each other i wouldn't stab have anybody because the yeah, end it's a tv show in my opinion we get mad at TV shows, video games, and tech. Like, it's easy to get mad at those things, and it's a little more acceptable because they're insignificant. You know, as much as I don't, I try to avoid politics on my YouTube channel nowadays, Is it is a little bit more justifiable when you get mad at politics because it can affect, you know, millions of lives if, you know, a bad policy is passed, for instance. But in the case... Um, you know, like, the reason I started this YouTube channel to talk about things like tech and cartoons, as much as there's trolls in both of those sort of communities, for me, it's easier to talk about it with other people because, you know, they're nowhere near as significant as politics. And it's, you know, fun to get mad at those kind of things. So... Yeah, to hear people, you know, to hear, like, these people who, you know, I don't want to assume all of them are lonely, but are just, you know, overly obsessed. And, you know, we're in this, you know, kind of thing for fun. We're not, like, you know, is, you know, are Rick and Morty politicians? Is Star Butterfly an actual princess? No, we watch in this, you know, for fun. And, you know, it's fun to be passionate about this kind of a thing. In fact, if anything, it makes me feel better when I can talk about, you know, you know, these topics at such a length because I can't talk about other quote unquote more important things at length. So yeah, I just feel like did I have anything more to say? I just feel like like what I'm trying to get across here you know, to finish this video up, is it is totally okay to have brand preferences, okay? There is nothing wrong with having brand preferences. The problem becomes when um, it's taken too seriously or you're just, you know, you're just singing its praises, you know? If anything, you know, in my opinion, fanboys sometimes go even, you know, go even further than even, like, the suits or the executives that run these companies because at least when you're like an executive a pr agent or an employee you still have to talk favorably like even if you know you have to talk competitor unless it's like a tv ad you don't like just shit on the whole thing like have you ever seen like somebody from like apple for instance or samsung maybe michael dell but i think Michael Dell's an idiot, but have you ever seen from, like, anybody from, like, Apple, Google, Microsoft, or whatever, like, just shit on, you know, anybody else? I mean, they would just be seen as unprofessional. That's terrible, terrible PR if they did that. So, yeah, I mean, and that's another thing you fanboys should know. These people, the people that you sometimes idolize to a fault, they're not going to be championing, champion, if I can talk, championing their brand to the extent that you are, you know. So don't feel like you're doing any services. And also, 
But we want to talk to you guys. Like, you know, there's plenty of fascinating people out there. But it just sucks when they're, like, sucked into, fan like, tribalism and all this, like, bullshit, you know? So, there, <laughs> there you have it, I guess. So... My opinion, you can have brand preferences, but we want to be able to talk about this in a, you know, respective manner. And even, like, in my case, like, you know, I try, I'm respectful to people who, like, two of my good friends, like, Stephen and Gabby, they don't like, you know, Apple. Like, they're not super into Nintendo. I know Gabby is, is in terms of, like, nostalgia, Stephen, not as much. Like, I know he likes his Nintendo 3DS, but, you know, I can still talk to them. In fact, like, right now, I'm using a MacBook Pro to look at my notes, and, like, Stephen, they don't, they do not like Apple, but, you know, it's just a brand. We can still talk about plenty of other things, whether it be um, our thoughts on movies or even, like, our personal lives. I always talk with about them with, uh, to them about my personal lives. So just know to all these, you know, fanboys out there that there's a lot more to these people than you can expect. And they may even be, dare I say it, more interesting than the brands, TV shows that you like. So <laughs> hope that doesn't and set off a flame. So there. Um, okay, this time I'm really going to try to end it. You know, so you can have brand preferences, but we would like to be able to talk with you guys with it. Because at the end of the day, we're all in, we're more than likely into similar things, things that you like, but, um, I just lost what I was about to say. <laughs> uh, what was that? Um, Similar, like, you know, we like similar things because, you know, we, you know, we like, you know, these things to get away from the really big issues in our life, you know. So when you treat those things like they're the only things that matter in your life, it just throws us back into, the, you know, the bullshit that we try to get away from. At least in terms of we don't want to be always arguing with people and shit like that. So that's all um, I've had to say. I'm... Um, Thanks for watching, and please like or dislike this video, and um, please um, please subscribe to Blood Moon Bobby. Um, like I said, I should be having videos on Blade Runner 2049 and Star Wars sometime this weekend. So that's all. Thanks for watching.